You know, I'm getting older in age. And at one time, I was one of the youngest surviving members, and now I'm 55. And, you know, um, so we're all getting older, and so I just feel there's a side of this story that people, people, uh, writers and whatnot did not research. Who cares about what happened day to day, day to day? What happened from this, for the 20 years of it uh, within the organization? How did the people interact? How did that get built? Jim Jones didn't do any of that. Jim Jones, didn't pay. his hands were as soft as a baby, okay? <laughs> and and, and a, lot of, um, a lot of spectacular things got accomplished throughout that group. It was, it was very well named People's Temple. Tor, you were right, he was heavily dependent upon drugs. You know, I was with him for the last year of his life every day, me and his sons, we were his personal aides. And he was just drugged out, he was totally gone. Once Jim Jones found out, when his advisors, Charles Gary and others, came from the U.S. to tell him he could no, ever, never again leave Jonestown, his life was over. He told us, he cried to us and told us. He would plead and beg, be in the radio room at nights, he talked, Gene and everyone, can I? And finally, it got to the point, he said, Jim, you can't even go to Georgetown anymore. Once you leave Jonestown, you could be arrested. And once that sunk into him, he turned to drugs full time, and he was pretty useless. We pretty much had to hold him when he walked. We had to zip his pants. You know, so in those latter months, he was out of sight sometimes, and when he came to talk, it would be just, just what you, the hell are you talking about? You know, it would be rhetoric, and he would think of something crazy to talk about, to try to make something when there was nothing to talk about. You have to understand, when he got over there, there was no more need for fake healings. There was no more needs for offerings. He took offerings every hour, it seemed like. Uh, there was no more need for trips. There was no for a need for him to grandstand. It was time for all hands on deck. We got crops to plant and cattle to herd and houses to build and paint and irrigation that we need. You know, for the first few months, we had no power. The biggest thing that happened over there is when the generator came and we all had power. You know, we all lived with wikis at night, walking around with little wiki kerosene candles in the jungle. In the jungle, no lights. I mean, it's like Gene said, you couldn't see your hand. It was so pitch dark. Imagine that. So, I mean, there was a lot going on that he had nothing to do with. See, all these things aren't told. So if all these amazing things are happening, who was doing it? Not him. You know, and those are the things that I'm talking more about. Mm -hmm. Not to take anything negative away from Jim Jones. He, he was, oh God, all the bad things that more people have written, true. And then some. I would never take anything from that. But there's also a whole other side of the story of a lot of amazing people that I grew up with and knew for 18 years for my whole life that made that thing transpire. Uh, could have possibly, without Jim Jones, succeeded very well. Some of us discussed that and how to get rid of him in detail and almost got to that point at one time. 